Hello everyone, welcome back to Maddox Man 12 on American Truck Simulator. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be customizing a Kenworth W900. As many of you as frequent viewers know, I published, I published a video where I used a crazy customized Kenworth W900 to tow a, a load. So, I'm going to show you how I customize a Kenworth W900 using the American Truck Simulator Kenworth W900 tuning pack. First, let's go into the truck dealers category. And we're going to click on Kenworth and then we're going to visit. We're going to buy the um, truck online. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Kenworth W900 day cab to start. We're going to use a... Uh, truck with lower customizations so we can see what it looked like before and then after so remember this is what it looked like before a super plain truck with not much uh fancy stuff on it and then i'll sh i'll probably show a video a picture of this truck in the before and after comparison now let's start we're going to work on the categories up here from the truck cabin to the accessories inside. We're going to click on the truck cabin. To make this truck big and fancy, we're going to use the 86 inch studio sleeper. Then we're going to go to the chassis and we're going to select the long 8x6. That's the media. We're going to select a long. So now we have four axles. There is no mid lift axle back here. Now we're going to go to engine. It's only at 370. So let's power it up to 625 so this truck can handle heavy loads. As you can see up here, here are its. Uh, truck that analysis Now we're gonna go to transmission. I Find the best one to use is the 18 speeds with a retarder, which is the engine brake Now heavy cargo is maxed out along with hills traversal in uneven terrain But maneuverability is not very good because there's many axles But we don't have to maneuver in tight spaces Normal cargo is light and medium weight cargo for transportation duties, and this is going to be used for that and heavy cargo, even though it is definitely uh, um, definitely yeah. Um, so now we'll go into the interior. This is good. I'm fine with I'm just fine with this. This is just fine. Actually, let's do the diamond. That's, isn't, I feel like that's kind of the same. I actually like this better. Now let's go do, we'll worry about, we'll go to the paint job once it's, once uh, we're done with the accessories. But now let's move to the uh, exterior accessories on the truck, where this truck is really going to transform. First, these wheels do not look good on this truck, so I'm gonna search up chrome in the in the wheel in the rim up here, and then we're gonna put seagull chrome wheels on this truck. The way you can get this is by using the wheel tuning pack, the American Truck Simulator wheel tuning. Now we're going to change the nuts of the truck to the spike the wheels um going to change them to the spike which are like the um which are like the spiky ones that stick out quite a bit and then uh we don't need a hub cap because that's for like the other trucks i in, in my opinion Okay, now that the wheels are all handled, we're gonna move we're gonna start in the front and move our way to the back. Just in case you want to see see a specific part, you know where to find it in the video. Okay, 
this is where the truck is really going to start to transform. So, first what we're going to do is we're going to start at the top. And the uh, grill ornament, I really like this longhorn. So, I'm going to select this. If you heard that noise, sorry, I just kicked something. Uh, then we're going to have the bug deflector. I think... I really this I really am interested about the chrome turbo wing. But I also like this arrow smoke color and the design. Now we're gonna go to the front logo. We're gonna keep this original the original Kenworth. Um yeah. The rest are good options, but I just like the original. Now we're gonna go to the grill. We're going to make this a fancy grill. So, I like the lowered angle, I believe is what it is. But, to make this fancy, we're going to go with that butt paint instead. It'll really look cool once we change the paint color. Now we're going to angle the camera this way, so we can adjust the headlights. We're going to go with the fancy exclusive LED black. Actually, let's see what the chrome looks like. I honestly just like the black. Actually, the standard trim looks good because I feel like the other one doesn't really match the truck well. Yeah, that looks good because the original doesn't have the little visor on the top. Now we're going to go into the fender guards category. We, um, let's see, should we do the bullseye amber or the blinker bar? I, um, I'm gonna go with the blinker bar. No, I'm gonna go with the bullseye amber. They're both used as indicators. I, f I think this one just is adding more, like, usage of, at using more usage of space in this front section plus i just like the lights on there now we're going to go to the bumper so we start with the least the least expensive and then we're going to put the most expensive which is the storm bumper now watch this transformation yeah doesn't that look crazy now the question that i'm asking myself is should i go with the full paint or the chrome strip in the middle I like the chrome strip because it, uh, um, yeah, the chrome strip looks good. And uh, some some of you were thinking that the grill, the painted grill, doesn't look very good. Again, uh, most of the painted stuff that I'll be putting on this truck is going to look better once we apply a different paint job, or if it looks worse, the paint job that we want, we can always change it back to chrome, or anything else that's that we can do so we're not going to put the oversized load banner on but, but i am curious how it fits with this uh interesting designed bumper mm, that seems fine and then no front flags either yes i have the sisal mega pack very nice um i don't let's see uh if we if front mirrors look good i think we should put them on but do they make the truck look too cluttered i know that does not sound right but it just like now it's the i honestly think we should not have any front mirrors on the front now uh let's go to the side logo here are all the options. They are very crazy, but I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I know the LED um, lights ones are very interesting, and I like them, but I'm gonna go with this one because I think that looks really good. Now we're gonna go to the front turn light category, and we're gonna need to do the. So we're gonna select the chrome orange, which gives the. Uh, turn light a like a chrome um trim kind of which makes it look nice now we're going to go on to the filter cover 
we're going to select industrial which has air vents on the front i believe or just metal like patterns now we have uh we're in the oh we uh we're just gonna select standard two i don't like the sh the shape of the kind of curved down one is i don't really like that one so we have started we have finished the front nose of the truck now we're gonna move to the cabin of the truck let's we're gonna start up here and work our way down first we're gonna go into the horns category we have two selected slots and to make this truck crazy we are going to add the train horn from the sound fixes pack that you can find on steam workshop it actually sounds like a train horn which is really nice now for clearance lights or cabin lights it is currently selected to have these but we're gonna we're gonna do the I call them bullet lights because they're just like, like sharp and so we're gonna add these onto the top across the whole row to make this truck look really nice. Um, so we're gonna put them in every single slot available. And let's click off of that. That looks really good. So now we're gonna delete the search. And then now we're gonna go onto roof window. I don't, I'm not gonna put a roof window on. Actually, let's see if it looks good with it. I don't really think so. I think uh, I like just the closed. And then lights, oh, in then the sun visor. We are going to go, uh, I'm just gonna experiment with which ones look really good. I know it's the, one of the cheapest ones, but I really like the untie. It is the cheapest one. I really like the untie chrome. Uh, um, there's not many visors to choose from, but I really like this one. And it's cost efficient too. It's cheaper than the standard sun shield that comes with the DLC for the truck. Now we're going to go to the roof sleeper clearance lights. Where we're going to do the same thing as we did down here. So we're... There's a lot of clicking with the mouse if you can hear that. Just going to fill up all these accessory slots with what I call the bullet lights. Alrighty. Done with clearance lights. Actually, technically, we're not. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. So now that we've done this, we're going to make our way down to the main mirrors. We're going to go with the modern, the standard 2 marker. Why is, why is it called marker? Because it has a little light right here, which I think is super realistic because I see lots of semis with that little light. Actually, I'm thinking of changing the bumper. Um, I really like this Ranger uh, bumper. I think, that, I think that looks better with this truck, honestly, so I'm going to keep that. Um, the first one was crazy. But in I like it, but I like this I like the Ranger bumper instead. And I think if we did the painted one, that would just be a little too much. So now we're gonna go to the air filters and we're going to go all the way down to the Thunder design, which has flares. Not flares, more clearance lights. Well, eh, I guess they are flares. Technically, from here, they're called light bars, so larger lights on there. Now we're going to go to the window trim. The window trim, we're going to select the Kenworth one. That way, every time the driver opens the door, they know it's a Kenworth. Not really. Door trim, uh, we're not going to put one of these on, because that's just on the window over here. And I don't see it necessary. The door handle, we're going to go with the classic design. Then, cab panels. This is where it starts to get nice. We're going to go down until we find the, uh, rect the chrome rectangle, which is right here. 
you might you're probably thinking why are there why are they rectangle heights you'll see in a minute once i hit once i get to the side deflector section now we're going to go to the doorsteps category and we're going to go down until we get to storm exclusive these are very these are very heavy duty now we're going to go to the lamp bar and we're going to select round extended Now we're going to go to the side skirt bars and select round again. So we have lots of clearance lights on the side. Well, not clearance. We have lots of lights on the side for safety and supervision of other cars. Now we're going to go to the tank category. We don't want to go too big, otherwise this side step will be removed. We're going to go with I like the chrome 235 gallon yeah that looks good and it didn't remove any of the side steps side skirt bars I should say all right now we have finished this side handrail not very needed now we're going to go towards the back so we can edge so we can change the exhaust pipes. We're going to go with the, we're gonna go down, and we're going to go with the Kenworth curved long paint. So this is painted right here, the cover, and it says Kenworth on the side. Now we're gonna go up here for cabin deflectors. I think we're gonna keep it original. Or should we put the whale tail chrome? Uh, it's fine. We don't need that. We don't need any of these. This one's too crazy. This one gets rid of the clearance lights up there. Um, so now we're going to go to Beacon. And, of course, this is a heavy hauling truck, so we're going to put some beacons on the side. Right there. Now we're going to go to the, sad, the side panel. I'm going to do... I'm just going to keep it standard. Or should I do this one? I like this one. Uh, no, standard actually looks better. R yeah, it really does. Now we're going to go to door handles. We're going to do the classic one, because that's what we did for this one. And side badge. Let's do just the Kenworth one, because we don't have any Kenworth 100 anniversary stuff on this truck. So yeah, now let's go to the side deflectors. In how what in the these are rectangles because we're gonna click on the rectangle side markers and place those so now we have lights all over the truck on both sides lights down here across here and up this way very good for nighttime jobs now we're going to go on the rear fender we're gonna go all the way down and we're going to do the chrome triple or we'll see what looks better we're gonna see if um let's let's look up the hump the hump uh triple paint that looks good um let's let's do the curved triple i i don't know um i like the chrome ones but they wrap around the wheel a lot and I, it looks kind of weird so i think i'm gonna do the hump curved triple paint actually i forgot what this one was i like this better yeah okay and then now we're going to go towards the back we're going to go on the cabin rear and then we're going to do the kenworth design which puts a huge kenworth logo in the front along with backup lights and brakes we're going to go to the headache racks and we're going to select cabinet which has lights up here then we're gonna go to the chassis cover, and I think what's gonna look good is the chrome double. Or is there something larger? Not really. I like that though. Now we're gonna go to the back, which is one of the last accessories we're gonna do on this truck. Then we'll get to the paint. We're gonna go to the rear bumper. 
and then we are let's see which one looks good i really like the centurion which has lights across the whole thing but i also like this crazy thing it's super retro this goes well with that bumper not this not the one we had but the one we had it goes really well with it so i think we're gonna go with the centurion or centurion and then we're gonna for mud flaps we're gonna go with just what they are right now um so yeah let's move on to the paint since we didn't get a chance to do that and it's the truck's gonna look a lot more cleaner once all the selecting like the bubbles and dots and stuff go away yeah that looks so much better without all that in the way so we're not gonna do a custom color anything because we're gonna go to one of these designs the three which i think the f actually i believe there's there's four really good options and that is the between the lines stripe leaning edge and vintage red and of course we will most likely be adjusting the colors to make the truck looks good Ooh, i landed on a good one but no i don't think we're going to be doing this one i really this color so let's see which one looks the best that looks really good that also looks really good so I think this one's out. It's really, it's a lot. And I think our truck's already a lot. So I think this one's out because it's crazy. But what about the vintage? I really like this one too. I, th and then I think this, I think uh, this one's going. You know, I know I think this one's going. Um, So it's either the stripe or the vintage. And I think I have made a decision. It's to go with the vintage but if we find we don't have a good color configuration we can always go back to one of these three if we decide just not this one so it, i should say one of these two but let's see what good color configurations we can make with the vintage red what i like is the grill is a separate color than the red so it's not just a completely red grill that's what i like about this one and the design is very cool too. You know what? I'm actually thinking the stripe was going to be better. So I think I like this truck would look really good with a blue. So let's see if we can get a good blue color. Like what about... That's too bright. That's too dark. Like that. Or... I think this looks really good. And then for the, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna experiment with stuff. So I'm gonna actually save this color as a preset for this one. That way I can go into the red and apply that. So that looks good. Uh, actually, it doesn't really. I well, let's just try out this one. So I already like what it's at right now. It's really good. Now. It's really good. But I do wanna customize the colors to make it kind of like our own. So, ooh, that is nice. I'm gonna save that one too. Let's apply that. And then apply this too. Oh, that just got rid of all the stripes. No, we want those back. That looks good. Actually, I don't know. Uh, this is the most difficult part is always, it's always the paint. Which paint do I want to go for? I think we'll do the stripe. I really do like the black. Let's change it. It's all the way down. So we'll just take the red and go all the way down. That looks good. But let's do a red stripe. Yes. That looks good. As you know, there's already a picture of the truck in the, the final truck in the thumbnail. So you already know which paint I'm going for. I mean, I actually think I'm just going to stick with this original one. So let's confirm. All right, let, let actually before we do that, let's let's check everything. I'm going to put that up and then get rid of that and then let's go to 
Let's go to first person walking, uh, like the first person view. So we can look at like everything. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. So, yeah, this is the paint we're going for, and this is the truck. Just took a picture of that. Yeah. Alrighty, well, that's the end for this episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked um little new thing on American Drug Simulator here, designing a crazy truck. Yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next American Drug Simulator video. See you soon.